Man, does it glow literally. Hi, I'm WeatherRick.com meteorologist Sam Cantrell. I'm sure you've heard it before. F4, F5, EF5, right? But what does it literally mean? The tornado scale is not just an arbitrary number. There's actually a method to the madness. First off, scale was invented initially by Dr. T. Theodore Fujita back in the prehistoric year of 1973. So it was first called an F0, F1, F2, etc. Now it's called an EF1 or EF5 because back in 2007, that scale was enhanced. Hence the E at the beginning. All right, we get the E and we get the F. But what does the additional number correspond to? Now, the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 actually correspond to a wind speed starting with a 0. That's right. You can actually have a 0. Now, this guy's only got minor damage in the scheme of things. We're talking some ripped shingles, peeled siding, broken branches, and a couple small toppled trees. Now, an EF1 tornado will cause moderate damage, stripping roofs, slipping RVs, shattering windows, and breaking doors. This guy's got winds between 86 and 110 miles an hour. Now, the damage starts to get really considerable. An EF2 can literally tear the roof off your house, shift your foundation completely, destroy mobile homes, and uproot big trees. With severe damage and wind around 150 miles an hour, an EF3 gets really messy. Entire stories of houses can be destroyed. Large buildings are severely damaged. Heavy cars can be lifted and chucked. Trains can be completely derailed. Now, it gets even more devastating as we approach winds of 200 plus miles an hour. Only 0.7% of tornadoes are EF4s, and believe it or not, we've actually had these in Connecticut before. Whole houses are completely destroyed, leveled. Cars can be thrown as far as footballs, football fields. Debris turns into missiles and can fly right through walls. This doesn't even top the scale yet. Finally, damage becomes catastrophic with an EF5. Houses are completely destroyed. Concrete structures are badly damaged. Even high-rise buildings can be heavily damaged if not wiped out altogether. No matter how strong or weak a tornado is, all of them should be taken seriously. And even though they're in Fruitland, Connecticut, you should always have an emergency plan ready. Thanks for finding out the facts here on weatheredge.com. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro. Take it easy out there.